your voice this morning. Sing, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be your glory.
surrounding me let it break add your name and still call the sea to still the rage in me to still every wave add your name and peace bringing it all to peace the storm surrounding me let it break Silence fear 
Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. God, I thank you, God. Thank you, God. We just say like David said, let the Spirit of the Lord speak by me and let his word be on my tongue. God, I thank you just even as John ate the book and it was sweet going down, but it was bitter in his stomach. He said, what must I do but prophesy? God, I thank you, Lord, that you're raising up a people with a heart after your own heart who have so eaten the word, they become the word and we begin to prophesy the now word of God. I thank you for the spirit of prophecy in this place. I thank you for the gifts, Lord, that you've deposited with each and every person and the grace to activate those gifts now. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this first Sunday of a new month, Lord, uh, the eighth month, God. We just thank you, God, Lord, for the way the winds of change are blowing in our favor in this season, God. God, I thank you for the contrary winds. Lord, that are now blowing with us and not against us, God. Lord, that where there had been opposition in the spirit, even mentally and emotionally, sometimes physically, God, Lord, that there is a wind of recompense that is blowing in favor of the saints right now. And we just say, blow, blow mighty breath, blow, blow in a fresh way. Let the breath of God Fill every person in every place. God, we thank you, Father, for what you are doing in each and every home, each and every heart. God, we thank you for the great state of Alabama. As Alabama goes, so goes the nation, God. And I just declare a tipping point even today, Lord, that would bring a turning of the tide. Hallelujah. Lord, a shifting from one direction to another, from unrighteousness to righteousness, from injustice to justice from hurt to healing that brings wholeness. And so we just say, thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh Thank you that you promised to do exceedingly abundantly what we could ask or imagine according to the power of God that is at work within us. So we, we imagine big. We ask big. We're thinking big thoughts, God, because you have big plans. And I pray for an enlargement of our capacity today. Lord, even like David prayed that you would enlarge his heart, that he could run the course of what you had commanded him, God. Lord, enlarge our thinking, enlarge our hearts, that we would not judge what you're about to do by what you have done, but what you have said will be. I thank you. I thank you, Lord, that you have not just commissioned us, but you've called us to co-labor with you. And we as a body step under the yoke of the Lord this morning. That yoke that is easy and that burden that is light. And I declare an end to all unequal yoking in the house of the Lord. I declare an end to unequal yoking in cities, states, and nations. And I declare that even the spirit of divination is being broken in this season right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you that that python spirit is being exposed so that true freedom can be released. We declare that every prison door would be open. We declare liberty to everyone who has been held captive. We declare a fresh voice to the preaching of the gospel to the poor, the opening of blind eyes and the unstopping of ears. And we declare this as the acceptable year of God's favor. We step in. Ha, ha, ha. We step in to that new and now favor. Just take a step. It's a crossing over season. Hallelujah. In Exodus 14, when they stood at the Red Sea, it looked like they couldn't take a step. Moses said, hey guys, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. God said, Moses, why you cry to me? Take, take what's in your hand and begin to do something with it. And when he stretched out his hand with that rod, that prophetic symbol of the authority that God had given to him, a strong east wind began to blow and the water stood on their end and they crossed through on dry ground. And as soon as the last one came across and their enemy thought that they could come up from behind, those waters came back on the enemy and took the wheels off of their chariots and brought an end to the persecution of their past. 
And so, God, I thank you, Lord, for our crossing over month. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for a people that don't look back but leap forward in this season. In Jesus' name.